turn into that. But I'm going to give you a snapshot. Is it okay? In Genesis chapter 12, the Bible says that Abraham and his wife Sarah, and together with his father Terah, and the word Terah uh, gives you the idea that the father is a terrible man, a ter man of terror, but that's not where we find the scriptures. I don't know why preachers like to use name and then uh, and, and, and then label it, you know what I mean? Uh, terror is just terror, okay? Uh, uh, and of course the nephew Lot was also together. So these are the family and they were in Haran, the Bible says. And the Bible says terror died in Haran in chapter 12 and then God appeared to Abraham and said leave this land Hello, wherever you are, leave this land. I'm going to take you to another land, the land I promised to you and to your posterity. Amen? To you and to your descendants. Now look, this is in Genesis chapter 12. But, but history goes further than that. Because the Bible says Abraham was not originally uh, from Haran. Uh, in fact, he was originally from a city called Ur. Earl of the child is in Mesopotamia. And, uh, and uh, Abraham was there uh, before Genesis chapter 12 that says that he was in Haran. But uh, Abraham was, uh, uh, was originally from another country, from another city, and the city is called Ur. Are you with me? And the Bible says in the book of Acts, I think it's Acts chapter 7 if I'm not wrong, uh, a sermon given by Stephen before he was stoned to death. Remember? Uh, Stephen was given the sermon and at the end of the sermon, they stoned Stephen to death and Stephen became the first Christian martyr. Okay, first Christian martyr. Anyway, when you look at Stephen, Stephen was going on history. So those days the sermon is very historical, I know. Today if I preach history, you all fall asleep. Uh, but those days, uh, people are very excited with history because history is God's story and it has to do with us. How, how it comes to us today, it has to do with history. Are you with me? Why are you in Malaysia? Because of history. Because your mommy and your daddy do something and that's why you're born. There's a history behind it. And how your mommy and papi uh, come together. Uh, did I say papi? <laughs> how your mommy and papi come together because there's also another history because of somebody doing some matchmaking. And then, and then you can go on and on and on. So history tells us why we are here today. Amen. Okay, uh, just in case you are saying why papi? Because when I was in Indonesia, this is how the children call their father. Don't look at me like this. I'm telling you history. <laughs> history tells me when I was in Indonesia, the people call their father not daddy, it's papi. So they call the mother mommy and then they call the father papi. And the first time I hear it, I could not take it. Uh, so just like some of you are going to hear like that. Okay, I, I, I understand where you're from. Okay. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 12, Abraham was 75 years old. <coughs> Say with me, 75 years old. <laughs> However, the first time God appeared to Abraham was not in Haran because Stephen tells us that it happened in Earl of the Chaldees. The Bible says that Abraham left the place, but he brought together his father and his nephew, of course with his wife, and the wife was barren, and they traveled from Ur all the way to Haran, and they settled down there. Say me, settled down. They actually settled down there. Now, we don't know how many years, but all I do know is it's not one day. Why is it not one day? Because the Bible says at the end of their settlement, or their, their, their stay in Haran, the Bible says Abraham accumulated wealth. Now, you can't accumulate wealth in one day. There must be a period of time. It could be 10 years, 20 years, I do not know. So let's suppose that uh, Abraham was in Haran for 10 years, 20 years. This is just my speculation. There's no way to prove it. But I'm just basing on the one point where the Bible says Abraham accumulated wealth in Haran. Are you with me? So, uh, 75 years old in Haran when the father died. But the Bible tells me they were already in Earl when Abraham received the first call. So when Abraham received the first call, I do not know how old Abraham was. He was definitely not 75. But at 75 years old, he left Haran. And he must be staying there for a number of years. So maybe when he was 45, 50 years old, I do not know. 
The Bible says he married his wife Sarah and then they left. So I don't know, maybe he was a young man uh, when he left. Are you with me? Maybe he was 35, 45, 55, I don't know. You just crank a number. But he was a younger man when he left Ur when the first time he heard God. God says that leave your kindred, your family and your land. I'll show you another land, a promised land and I will give it to you and to your descendants alone. And God already promised Abraham at that age, at that time, that he will have children. Isn't it? After all, that why should God say, I give you the land uh, to you and to your posterity? If there's no children, then what posterity? Isn't it right? But at that time, Sarah was barren. Uh, uh, Evolution, but no egg, huh? No egg. Uh, infertile, infertile, infertile. Okay, infertile. Uh, she was barren, and that's why God put you here so that we can have this nice kind of a check and balance. Okay. So, uh, at 75 years old, listen. At 75 years old, God appeared to Abraham. Uh, this time, the father died, and then God said, uh, "It's time for you to uproot and move on." Uh, the first time I told you, uh, you went halfway, you stopped in Haran. And God says, now you have to move on. So for that period of time, uh, Abraham moved on halfway, settled down. But actually God told Abraham in Ur, I'm going to take you all the way to the promised land. So he went halfway and then he settled down. Uh, maybe the father, big terror, uh, told him, I'm not going to move. I like this place pretty much. Uh, so I do not know. There's a lot of this. Uh, 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 pieces of information we don't have. But all we do know, the father died, and then at chapter 12, then they start to move on, and 75, uh, Abraham was 75 years old. How old was Sarah then? 